how-to for post-prom. The Wednesday for post-prom, borrow the transportation district pickup truck and trailer. You'll be headed to Barber Park, actually to a shed just to the south of Barber Park. You'll need to ask somebody where it is to pick up all of the post-prom materials, including the slide. The materials for the slide are big and heavy. Make sure you have plenty of help. Most of the materials are marked. Don't trust the marks. Make sure you use the right one. A couple of notes here. When you go to pick up all the materials next to Barber Park, you'll need not only the trailer that you get from the school, but a second one. The second one should not be enclosed. There are materials that are too big to fit in the enclosed trailer. Now, when you go to hang the plastic around the outside of the gymnasium, it's all marked for which bowl it goes on. There are some nice eyelets up at the top that you can hang these on. It's done pretty quickly. The problem you will have is the lift that you see in the video here. That's borrowed, scrounged, rented. The school does not own it. The legs in the brackets to the slide are numbered. Number one goes at the top of the stairs. And then you progressively go down the stairs with two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And ten says four. These are the weapons of choice. Oftentimes there are many things happening while the slide is being built. For instance, if you want to know how to hang the lights from the ceiling, you drop down the divider. If things have been done right, there will actually be marks that you can just, just drop the board into and then screw. A quick note from the top of the slide. It goes up against the left-hand stair as you're looking down. That is the left rail. And it leaves a walkway of sorts along the right hand side as you're looking down. That, if I remember correctly, is covered up with the tarp so that the kids, when they make the trek up the stairs to go down the slide, have to come up the stairwells on the east end of the gymnasium. We use simple straps to hold the brackets in place around the stair. The brackets or braces that are put in place match up with the uprights on the stairwell. So there are six of the uprights and six of the brackets. They're strapped to each of the uprights on the stairwell. Okay, the hard part is starting the process. In this case, the top of the slide, which is marked, butts up against the top step. And then there is a two-foot section that simply slides in and may or may not be connected to the top step. One note here. There is one more brace that goes in place at the very top, but it is not connected with the exception to hold the canopy up. When the time comes, the slides, or pieces to the slides, are connected via bolts. So one of the biggest problems you will face is trying to make sure that the slide does not catch the kids on the way down. So each one has to be either level or the top one above the bottom one so that when they go over they don't catch on their dungarees or whatever else they happen to be wearing. And that takes some thinking and some doing. The bottom piece simply butts up 
to the slot. Go for it. Yeah, go ahead. Then you put screws in from the back side to hold it in place. So there is a room at the top of the stairs where you will find the side walls to the slide. They will always be buried under a whole bunch of drama stuff that you'll have to move. This is how you get to the room. Okay, is it good? Each of the sides should be marked with where they go on the slide. The lines will be, the lines will match up to the board. Okay, so here, don't forget to put the so that, top board yeah, on. Yeah, that'll go right there, just like that, So you that, can Jerry, put the uh, canopy over the top of it. Getting closer to done, but not there yet. Don't forget to put the lights on the inside. Then you wrap the whole thing in plastic. Okay, a couple of things about putting this plastic sheet over the top. It's big, it's a little unwieldy. Do it however you can. Um, I might suggest that you lay it on the floor and then you fold it twice. So you fold the outside halfway in from both sides. And then you take one of the uh, large tubes and roll it from the bottom to the top. Take the tube to the top and just let it roll down. Uh, make sure the flaps are faced up. Uh, unlike the way we did it, which were the flaps face down or towards the slide, and we had to try to pull those out from underneath uh, so that you just kind of open it like a door and the sides fall over uh, and cover the whole thing. Don't forget to staple the plastic into place. Once the slide is put together, make sure you polish your up.